Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to change a factory body on a club car precedent. Um, in case you want to change colors instead of having it painted, you can just buy another body and um, put it on. Probably you get good at it. You can do it in a half hour, um, one hour top. So in this little short video, I'm going to show you how to remove the body and then because um, I'm getting ready to paint this body, but I'm going to show you how to remove it and then you can uh, put your new body on and just uh, reverse the process. Okay, this is the cart that uh, I'm going to take the body off of to show you real quick how to do this. Now, this particular cart I has a top off because I'm getting ready to put a back seat on it, but this video is just to show you how to change the body how easy it is now what i tell you to do first of all throw this toe switch and toe just to make sure that everything is cool now next thing i do i set the brake and here we go these are the tools you're going to need probably a needle nose pliers a phillips head screwdriver or a bit a T25, this is a T25 for the screws that hold this front brow on. And then you're going to need a T30, okay? So, oh, I'm sorry, and also a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. So, first I took the seat off of this thing. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take off this front section <laughs> and uh, doesn't matter if the windshield's still on and all that doesn't matter all you have to do to take this front section off is remove four screws in this front cowl one two three and four that is what this t25 bit is all about so we're gonna I'm gonna put this in my drill and I'm gonna pull these out. So I have three of the screws out. I've only got one more to take out. Um, I wanted to show you. So this is the last one that I'm gonna take out. And after you get these out, make sure you put them in a safe place because I always paint these. I stick, put a hole in a piece of cardboard and I paint these before I put them back in. But once you get those out, you just reach in here, pull this off. Okay, once you pull that off, all you have to do is pull this piece that comes right up. Uh, usually the windshield's right across here, but you can get your hand somewhere. See how this thing just pulls up? That's what it looks like underneath. Put this over here. That's what we just took off. When you put it back on, you just slide it right back in this slot. You make sure it seats in there then you take the brow put it back on four screws and it's done that's how easy it is to change that front very very simple now i also while i have this bit in my drill i'm going to go ahead and the forward reverse switch has two small screws See if I can do this by rail. Oh, I did. There's one here. Okay. So you take those two screws out. We'll reverse switch. Let me get the screws here and here. Save them. Now the four reverse switch is hanging. See these three wires blue, orange, brown? That's the order they need to go back in. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and this is where the needle nose pliers come in. I need two hands, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my needle nose right in there and just pull all three of these off. Okay, so here's the forward reverse switch. I put my uh, needle nose on and pulled those three right off of here. Now, make yourself a diagram. Always make a diagram. This is what I did. Looking from the top, that's this way. Just lined them up. Forwards on the left, reverse on the right. 
blue, orange, brown. Very simple. Okay, now that we got that off, the next thing we're going to do is take a 10 millimeter and take the two bolts out that hold the seat back on. So we're just going to buzz them out. This thing pulls right off and then it gets real easy. Okay, I got my 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to loosen these two screws. Flip it over, do this one. Okay, put this in here. When you come around, just grab this and lift it up. It's off of there, okay? Now, set this aside. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to change the bit. I'm going to put my Phillips head tip in. You can use a screwdriver. But I have to remove the two tail lights. And usually, if it's aftermarket kit like this, there's two screws that hold it in. Other than that, behind here, there's double back tape. So if you happen to have a light that has no screws, you see nothing, it's just double back tape. And you can just grab it and wiggle it and it will pull off. You'll eventually have to put some new double back tape on it. But we're going to take these screws out, pull this out. There's a connector there. We're going to unplug it and I'll show you that. Okay, I've taken the four screws out of the tail lights. Now, I can do this with one hand. I'm going to grab this. There you can see the double back tape. And pull this out and there will be a connector in here. So what you do is you just squ squeeze these. Unconnect it. Okay? That's how you get the lights off. And poke this back in there. Come over to the other side. Same thing. You work its way off. I'm going to turn this camera off because I can't do it left handed. But oh, maybe I can. Okay. There it is. See? Pull it off. Pull this out. Squeeze this and pull that apart. And you can clean this residue off. But that will do it for the taillights. You pull those out. Your 10 millimeter uh, socket that you have in your drill left from doing the seat. I'm going to loosen. These are 10 millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and just loosen these two screws. Okay? Not, you don't have to take them all the way out. You can if you want. No big deal. But we're going to go ahead and loosen those. Okay, there's one. Walk over, do the other one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. Don't need to, but since I'm saving all my bolts in one nice container. Okay, now the only thing we got left to do is four screws two in the front. Two in the back. We pull those four screws out, and that's it. After that, we just yank this body. We we uh, just grab it. We pull up. It'll come out of the front. This, it'll come out of this front toe kick. It'll come out of here, and we'll have to come around here in the tail light and just grab it and pull because. This fits down in a group pretty deep. Matter of fact, there, kind of pulled that one up. So, to make it easier for you, I'm going to go ahead and loosen these other two 10 millimeter screws in the back. Might make it, you don't need to do this, but it, it might help. Might help some people, or it will help me do this with one hand, but you don't need to do that. Okay, so I will take those out, but I started to say on the, on the back, we're going to end up grabbing this, pulling it, till it comes out of here and comes out of here. Um, I'm going to try to set the camera up so you can see me do this with two hands. Okay, with that T30 bit, we're going to take these four screws out that are holding the body. Do it with two hands, a lot easier. You do it with two, you can grab the screws and not have to go get them down in the 
battery bucket. Okay. So all those screws are out. Now, what I was telling you, all that needs to be left to do now is to get this body, grab it, and pull it off. Stick, stuff those three wires back in there. But I'm just going to grab it right here, and you pull up. See, it just pulls right up out of there. It pulls out all the way down here. Come over here. Again, see, I'm going to grab it and watch down there. See how it just pops out? And all of this is going to stay, but this is going to come out all the way back here. Okay, we're going to try this. I set the camera up. Remember I said the body's loose? So all I got to do when this body's loose, grab it underneath here and come back here with this hand back here and pull it. I put my finger through the hole. Pull it up and out of this groove. You hear that big pop? I don't know if you can see that, but it just broke loose. So with the camera. So see, this is the groove that it sits down in. Can you see that? Let me pull it. So this big lip on the side lip sits down into there. There you can. You can see this, this lip that rolls over across the back seats down in here. This one I haven't did yet. So I'm going to come over here. Remember, we're going to grab the body, lift it up. It's going to come all loose back here. Then I'm going to come back here. Pull that. See, it just popped up out of there. I'm going to put my hand here. And it's going to pop up out of there. That's what the big... See that? This whole body is loose now. You can grab this whole body now and take it out. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I'll try. Back up. See, the whole body just getting ready to come out. The whole body just came out. So I'm going to grab it. it if, there, if there's a top on, I would do it the other way. If there's a top, you can pull it out this way. But this is the body. This is it. Plastic Tupperware. Now all I got to do is remove these two keepers. I just put a little screwdriver in here, pop it, and this comes out. And these are very important windows for your forward reverse switch. If you send this in to get painted, do not send those in. You'll never get them back. So I will take these out. I will put them in there. And this body is ready to be painted or sold to somebody else and you bought a new one but uh let me get the camera and show you what the cart looks like without the body on it so that's what the cart looks like with no body on it nothing on the front see where it sits down in this groove all the way around And that's it. Now if I had my new body here, or if I wanted to take that orange one off of there and put it on here, just reverse it. Stick it in there. Reverse order, you got it. The only thing, um, if you have a brand new body, you're going to have to drill the two holes for the uh, taillights. Um, these two holes. Or if you buy a body, or you have a body, that does not have tail lights in them and you're going to be send it in to be painted and you're going to put lights on it go ahead and drill them holes before they paint it but that's it that's the uh, video that I wanted to make for some people wanted to know how to change their um, body in their golf cart so that's it hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful <laughs> if not tell me uh, you won't hurt my feelings so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you learned something. I appreciate uh, any questions, comments. Uh, text me. My cell phone number is 760-393-1314.
Send me pictures, I'll help you. I help people every day, believe it or not, with wiring problems and different issues. So uh, don't be afraid to call me, uh, text me, email me. I'll probably text you back, usually in the evening after my day. So anyway, that's it from Wayne's Golf Carts in Indio, California. Hopefully uh, you will go to my eBay store, Wayne's Golf Carts, if you need parts. There's just a few charger parts and some other stuff on there, but not much. But uh, anything else, I, I'm now the Roy Powell dealer, so I'm selling lots of Roy Powell units. Um, don't know if you can see. That's what's left of our last pallet of them back there. These are the two here that we're getting ready to haul today. These two, so love them Roy Powell. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. <laughs>